a problem with the word miraculous here, but... <laughs> uh, which doesn't occur in the Quran, by the way, the, the oh, word miraculous. Okay. So, I mean, the, the, the whole notion of uh, jazz, it just came later, but uh, it's, not, uh, it's not a... Uh, the term isn't there. Hmm. So when a book drops from the sky, what's that? Which doesn't occur in the Quran, by the way, the, the oh, word miraculous. Okay. So. Let me help you out, Mr. Clever Clogs. It starts with an M. When's the last time you got a book from God, Shifty Nasa? Isn't that like the very definition of a miracle? The next bit is funny. Because AP is clearly wetting his pants here. Lo and behold, the trained monkey goes off script. <laughs> the Quran is definitely unique. That there are oh. there are no similar texts in terms of oh. content and style, oh, no. more or less style uh, in, in how it was compiled and. and oh my God, Apis! What happened? You you ran out of bananas or something? <laughs> No Look at his face! In terms of content. Man, after all that training, how hard is it to say the Qur'an is like a phone book, like Bart Herman said? Uh, I'm sorry, but the truth just slipped out. You'll never be a celebrity like me. Oh man, this is like high school all over again, when I was always the most uncool kid in my class. There's a, there's a famous Arab uh, poet and writer he wrote a competing book in the mid fourth century. That would be tenth century. His name is Abu Ala Al Maari. Very famous. One of mm -hmm. um, imitating the style of the Quran. It's published. It's available. It's called Al Fusul Wal Ghayat. If people uh, read Arabic on your channel and want to check it out, very eloquent. It's excellent masterpiece. And they ask him. They are making fun of him after he wrote it and published it. So what happened to your Quran? Why why didn't it become famous? Oh well. If you're gonna call a book copying, copying the Qur'an a masterpiece, what on earth are you gonna call the original? <laughs> Remember, the epithet masterpiece is taken by this copycat book. It's an excellent masterpiece. So to describe the original, i.e. the Qur'an, you now gotta go a notch higher. I'd say the word miraculous is just perfect, don't you? Subhanallah, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ties their words up into knots and condemns them with their own tongues. Now this is truly funny. Listen carefully to the reason this so-called professor gives for why the Qur'an can't be miraculous. Uh, if I were to write a competing book today, mm -hmm. would it be possible to say this is objectively, so my book is objectively not equal to or better than the Quran? No, because you will, you will need 400 years for people to study your book. And then by that, that, by that time, the Quran would have 2,800 years of people studying it. It's not going... He's basically saying <laughs> the Quran can't possibly be miraculous because so many people and experts have spent too long being mesmerized by its aesthetic beauty and profound message. <laughs> oh man, you can't make this stuff up. By that insane logic, Shakespeare, Homer and Plato are only studied in universities today because they're not that good apparently. <laughs> you dummies. You dummies, seriously, the only reason a book gets studied for hundreds of years like the Qur'an at madrasas and mosques etc. is precisely because it's that good! The point is, issues of superiority, it's not going to be an, an objective criterion where someone, oh look, I produced something. People will always poke holes in whatever you write. Uh, and there's no really objective criteria to say, well, this verse or this uh, poem is better than the other poem. I find the challenge unreasonable or incoherent, if I may say, because... Uh no, it's not. No, it's not. There's actually an objective criteria for judging good writing. Mankind has found a way! 
Otherwise, we wouldn't be saying things like Shakespeare is such a good writer compared to other writers. It's exactly why even NASA in this very video, in this very video, is able to say his name is Abu al Alaa al Maari, very famous, one of mm -hmm. like Shakespeare in, in, in English. So, NASA, why are you referencing Shakespeare? <laughs> if your argument is there's no objective standard for writing, because <laughs> by your stupid definition, we've no way of sorting good writing from bad. Subhanallah, how Allah trips them up. And also, and also, we wouldn't have things like the Nobel Prize in Literature. Hello, that is the prize that judges good writing from bad writing. <laughs> Honestly, this is just stupid. I'm going to end it here.